everyone, it's Desiree, and I am back again with Spellbinders, and today we are going to combine the Glimmer Club Kit of the Month and the Embossing Folder Club Kit of the Month. Now, this is the regular. This is not the 3D embossing folder. The foil color that I'm going to use is called Magenta, and when I first saw this Glimmer set, I'm like, hmm, not quite sure. Nope, don't know what to do with this one. Um, it kind of stumped me, uh, but I finally came up with an idea. Now, I'm going to use my... Um, a standard A2 size card uh, piece here, four and a quarter by five and a half. I followed the sandwich that I needed for my platform, for my spell binders, and I did that in white, and I just love the look of it. For the plate, I'm going to take the tulips, and I'm going to use the magenta, and I'm just going to set this down um, on a piece of regular cardstock. This is Nina cardstock. And I'm going to create the hinge on two sides, and then I'm going to pull that back and put the foil underneath. And I'm going to cut off the excess, and the excess is what I will use for my sentiment, which is what I'm going to create right here. My glimmer machine is heating up there in the upper right-hand corner. And I am going to use the sentiment sending flowers and a smile. And I'm going to put that towards the bottom. And again, creating that hinge, uh, creating a hinge mechanism, because in case it doesn't foil right or it doesn't foil at all, we can redo that. Um, the hinge method is awesome. I still remember the day Yana showed it. Oh, yes. It was a game changer. Um, the Glimmer system has grown so much. So many fun techniques. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. Yay. I did do two panels. Um, wasn't quite sure that I was, if I was going to use both of them, but I will save that other one for another time. I'm pulling out my Positively inks, and I'm in the shades of, of pink, and of course you're hearing paper rattling because I'm pulling out my page that I wrote down. And the colors I'm going to use are Peony, Bubblegum, and Lemonade. So I'm going to be using my small blending brushes, and I'm going towards the bottom with the pink shade of each of these tulips. And then I'm going to come along the top of the tulips with lemonade, um, just to give that different color. And it is beautiful when these colors meet, they create this beautiful, somewhat corally finish type thing. And again, these colors look harsh. They look like it's a bad blend. And everyone's saying, Des, what are you doing? You having a bad day here? What's going on? Um, these do fade out. That's what I love about these dye inks. They level out on the paper, so you don't see those harsh, harsh lines. Um, they actually smooth out together. I did use the peony color um, for the peony at the bottom. I'm now coming in with the sprout and just coming up those leaves and those vines. I'm not worried about if I'm going outside that foil that foil line. I just want to get color in there to give the illusion that there is color there. If that makes sense. Not quite sure. Right. So now that I have that done, I'm going to trim that down, but first I want to die cut it. So this Glimmer uh, Club Kit actually comes with the die edge, and you can see it goes across a five and a half card piece. I am going to line up across the top to make sure that I'm straight, and I'm going to trim this to be four and a quarter, and then I'll come down and just trim off that edge. So that is our panel. I love the fact that when you die cut, it goes right up to that glimmer line, which is beautiful. And I am going to use my double-sided foam squares to prop this up on my panel. Once I have that on my panel, I'm going to get my sentiment ready, and I'm going to choose a shade of cardstock that is close to the foil that we used. I'm going to place that down towards the bottom. And I love the fact that when that gets propped up, you just see all of that dimension and that texture of the other embossing folder just coming up behind it. This is where I'm looking 
for my other cardstock. I have to say, it is amazing at the color changes <clears throat> that my phone does when I fill. It's amazing. Um, it is a bright color, but it's not that bright. We're going to set that down, and then I'm going to trim the other side of that. The sentiment strip is a quarter of an inch, so I cut a piece of half an inch cardstock, and then I'm going to use that to prop up the sentiment as well. And I'm going to place that along the top. And we're going to get this onto our standard A2 size card base, which of course is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then once that's in place, our card is finished. I do hope you enjoyed this project. This one, I had to think about this one. Um, you know, there's always that one item that's going to stump you just a little bit. But just keep sticking to it and you will come up with a beautiful piece of art. As always, the products that I used um, are listed down below. And I've also listed the shop and the gallery for even more inspiration. And I've also added a link of all of the club kits so that you can see everything that they have available and bundles that are available as well to get a discount. If you have any questions, make sure you leave those down below as well. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Remember, subscribe, hit that thumbs up. I'd love to have you here. Um, and by all means, remember what's most important. Always be creative. And I will talk to you in the next one, guys. Till then.